Good evening, everyone. Let's just jump right into this. It's the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. It's how I follow the broad market and basically get my levels of support and resistance. So basically, I want to I look back at, at what this market's done since in the last two weeks. And, you know, we see our major bottom, our low is at 1068, and we see our obvious rally to the upside. And now I want, I want to teach you something that you might know, you may not know, but the market has four different phases. It has one trend, doesn't matter which way, one way or the other, in this case uptrend. Two, so we have our trend. Two, we have a stopping point. Here we go, 12.30.75 stopping point. Three is balance or consolidation, which we're seeing now. And four is either retracement or we go back to step one, which is continuation of the trend. So right now, we are in an obvious step three, uh, which is market balance consolidation on a short time frame, let's say the last, if you're, if you're paying attention to the last week or so, we, we've really kind of flattened out with a, a slight upside bias. It's been, been much easier to make money buying the market rather than selling it, although it's also made sense to take profits into the strength. So what is that telling you? Well, it's telling me that we either could be close to a retracement to the downside, or we could just see more of the same, more balancing. So, you know, this is a relatively time, small frame view of the market, but it's, what's, it's what matters right now. 12.30, 12.25 on the upside, 11.80, 11.90 on the downside, and the most important thing about this development, let me zoom in. Nope, let me zoom in. Okay, there we go. I, I just zoomed in a little bit. The most important thing about this development, I see two, we'll, we'll call it three major levels. One is the obvious point of control for this for this balance range that we've seen, and it's around 1190, the exact number is 1188, 89.99, sorry. So basically what that tells me is there's a bunch of activity down in this 1190 range, and the buyers are winning. How do I know the buyers are winning? Well, every time it's gotten to that range, we've seen a move to the upside. It's, it's as simple as that. So basically right now, I'm going to zoom in once more we see another large volume area being created here and that may be consider this if if the market goes up tomorrow and let, let's say we we reach these highs let me clean this up a little bit okay let's say we reach let's just connect the points here I guess you could say this is a trend line. We have one, two, three, kind of four times that price has hit this line that I just drew. And let me zoom out once and to draw back our general support line around 1185, 1190. So let, let's, let's put it in context. Let's say this 1205 level where this big volume cluster is. Let's say that, that tomorrow the market moves back up to this trend line and basically closes around, around those levels, around 1215 or above, really. Well, what does that tell you? Well, it tells me that there wasn't enough selling pressure to, to push it down to 1190 tomorrow or perhaps even the next day. Does that mean that it's going to break out to the upside and we're going to new highs? Not necessarily, but it, it confirms the fact that buyers are still in control, you know, despite the fact that we're at resistance. So basically, you know, you want to be involved in this market, but you, you, you want to realize, you know, where we are in the current market phase. 
you know, we are balancing. There's not a ton of opportunity to profit right now, but there are opportunities, and you, you can be a part of them if you know what levels to get it at and how to manage your risk. At Volume Profile Trader, that's exactly what we do. We use it with Volume Profile and Technical Analysis. Becoming a member is probably the best choice you can do, but it's not only about that. It's to learn and to pro progress to make yourself a better trader because that's what we're trying to do here. But we need to do it the right way. We need to kill the bad habits and get rid of the the beliefs and the superstitions that the market's against you or this indicator, that indicator always works. Most of the indicators are, are nonsense and they're based off of mathematical equations that, you know, are right 50% of the time, but what about the other 50%? So, you know, sorry about that little rant there, but I'm just very passionate about this and I want traders to be on the right side of the trend and realize, you know, when to be buying, when to be selling, and they won't know that until they learn volume pro profile. So, you know, let, let's just continue on here. I want to zoom out to a, a longer dated chart to show you the market auction process, the step one trend, two stopping point, three market balance, four retracement, or back to step one uh, trend. I want to show you that on a bigger time frame just so you can get the idea of what's going on. Okay, here we are, bigger bigger picture here. You can see that if you're using, actually, let me zoom out even one, once more. Okay, here we go. This is a daily chart, two-year chart of the of the E-mini S&P, but just to give you an idea of what's going on, okay, here's our step one, step two, stopping point, step three, our balance, Step four, a breakdown. And now we're seeing a breakdown or retracement if you want, you know, to, to keep it technical and to make sure we're all on the same page. And you can see that, you know, now we're finding support at that retracement, basically at the at the point of control where where we have had the most buyers and sellers over the last two years. So you know, you can't make this stuff up on, on why price is stopping at 1170 and then reversing. It, it's just it's just how it works. And you can see now on a smaller time frame that we're balancing. And, you know, ultimately this market's going to break one way or the other. And if I zoom in once, all right, this is just zoomed into what we were just looking at. But if if we're looking at just strictly volume profile we see that the point of control and price have a very bullish relationship meaning price is above the point of control so you have the ability to you know feel comfortable going long with the fact that you know buyers the most the heaviest volume price traded is below you in the range that we're in in this balance area where 1230 is the ceiling and if you exclude this 1068 low, let's just say 1100 is the floor, just to make it simple. But you know, ultimately, yes, we're still in the balance range, and you know, we don't have an all sys all systems go to the upside. It's we're not there yet, but we could be getting close. And you know, right now we're waiting for to see the resolution of this minor balance area on the smaller time frame. And we're looking to see where, where is price going to go from there. You know, right now, it's hard not to agree with the upside. But then again, what what's price done in the last three months? Well, it's rejected 1230. Every, you know, it's only been there one other time. But I, I guess you can say two other times if you include a couple of days ago. So, you know, it, it, it's still the sellers are still at 1230, whether we like it or not. But, you know, we're seeing maybe this is a little coiled spring action and, you know, three or four, maybe a week longer of this. And we have enough enough seller, enough sellers that have already sold that there's the sellers are exhausted, basically. And we're going to get that upside move. So, 
you know, I, I went a little more in detail than I would like, but I want to show you the value of what this is, and I want to get people, you know, along for the ride so they can change their trading around if they're struggling. If it means getting that one more profitable trade or taking one less trade or, you know, tightening up your stop because you see where actual support is, you know, that's all that matters. And that, that's going to trade your change your trading for the better and you're going to see it in your results. But you have to take the right step. And it's unfortunate that there are so many other products out there that that are showing you the wrong way to trade and you know perhaps their system works a couple times but like i said earlier what about the other 50 percent when it doesn't work so you know, I, I just want i just want to let people know this you know it, it's not it's not easy but if you put in the work you're going to see the results and you're going to love it and you're going to want more of it and you're going to ask yourself why didn't i find this you know three four five ten years ago but anyways, this is uh, Nick from VolumeProfileTrader.com signing out.